good shots. Got a clean pot. Perfect control of the cue ball. It's a funny thing, you know, for all he's won, Stephen Willie. Went back to the players' area after the mid-session interval, and now with Stephen on the table practising. Yeah, I think we, we mentioned in commentary that he was missing a few long ones and perhaps thought his timing wasn't quite right. You see, the thing is, with timing when you're brake building, people out there would not realise that you can actually... Um, you know, still score very heavily when, you, when you're not queuing well, but it, when it does find yourself out is really when you're playing the long game. Sixteen. Yes, he's got so much pride in performance, Stephen. That little ten minute interval, practicing away, trying to get things right. Seventeen. It's early doors, but that's the third black with the third red. And it 25. is a situation that brings a 147 to mind because really all the reds are in this half of the table. The only red that's a little bit away, it's on the blue spot, so that wouldn't be a problem getting position on that and playing for the 32. black. Thirty-three. Nothing would give Stephen greater pleasure than to beat his fellow Scotsman's high break, which is held by John Higgins at the moment, a magnificent break of 144. Unlike Higgins, O'Sullivan, Hendry Williams, when there is an opportunity of making a sizeable break, if the 147's there, they go for it. Forty. Forty-one. Oh, great pot back in prime position. The red just at the bottom of the pack. The crowd looks on. A little bit of anticipation, I'm sure, coming to mind at the moment. Wondering. It's a possibility. 48. Really has to get high on this next red, so not to finish straight. Doesn't have the angle to play for the reds into the left-hand corner that are in the pack. So just running through on and off the cushion. I'll just roll it in to make sure that it didn't finish straight, but this is a tough pot. 56. Fifty-seven. Now, he probably will elect to stun into the reds here. Needs a bit of luck. Oh, that's pretty good. I think you'll have eyes for nothing else but a maximum 147 here. The balls couldn't be better situated. He may not need another car, but... 
I'd love to make one. He could always give it to me, will he? 65. He really is a machine, isn't he? He's already made six 147s in tournament play. And this is the beauty of going for 147s. You see, at this situation now, you can't afford really just to play for one 72. red. Because once you get the wrong angle, it's break over. So consequently, Stephen has played for two or three reds at the same time there to always give yourself options. 72. And this is the only reason that Stephen Hendry is so proficient in the 147 department. Again here, he won't play for one red, he'll play for two reds. But making sure he finishes high. Eighty-one. Well, I think they've had a little bet between themselves. They're wondering whether this one four seven is going to be made at this visit. See there again. You see, he's played for the red on the middle blue spot. If he's not on it, he's on one of the other reds. This is a real chance. Eighty nine. Well, is he on the one just below the pink? Ninety six. Ninety seven. So really now it's all there, it's just a case of keeping yourself together and even Stephen Hendry will be feeling it a little bit now. Well, it's gone a little bit too hard for me, but as I say, he's such a confident potter. One hundred and five. Yes, that previous black. Once again, he played for both reds rather than one. Now all he has to do now is definitely make sure he finishes high on this next red. Doesn't want to finish low. It's finished absolutely perfect. One hundred and twelve. Yes, the only problem now, of course, is the yellow knot on its spot. So imperative. He gets a good angle. He's got the angle on the black. He's got to pot the black and get the line and pace right for the yellow. That is without doubt one of the best positional shots you're likely to see. This key shot. Well, you've got to fancy him now. This is remarkable. One hundred and twenty-five. Yes, we were saying early on that he took over the mantle from Steve Davis, and he certainly has taken snooker to a new level. A level that other players. And it has improved the standard of the game. They're trying to reach consistently as Stephen. That cue ball needs to run a little bit more, I think, though. 134. Well, it's not bad, but he won't leave the black that easy. It's there. This has been absolutely superb. A genius witnessed by this large...